Right guys, welcome down to the beautiful, resplendent in sunshine, Stoke Park. And we've already had a little bit of a challenge on the front line myself and, oh, let me get this right, Great British National PJ Assistance Champion and National PJ Assistance Champion of Australia, Matthew Webb. Right, yeah. That's one hell of a business card you're going to get when it's printed. Uh, and we're, we're going to have a match play around this nine holes here. Uh, Matt's probably going to end it in about six holes, so it might only be two parts. But we'll have to see. So Matt's leading us off. We're on the Colt course now. Par five to begin with, 545 yards in the winter. But sun's on our backs. Oh, well, mate. Yes, have a good game. Not too well, though. Might be having to work with him after a few holes. Can you just lay off me a little bit? Just a little bit. Pretty good. Oh, the bunker's to the right. Is it in the bunker, that one? Thanks, so, yeah. Decent enough strike. Sounded like it, anyway. All right. You can have a go at zooming if you want. <laughs> I'll, let you, I'll let you go wild. So everyone, everyone be nice to me. He's never operated a camera like this before. <laughs> I've, I've got to be honest, I think you'll still be better than me. I'm not. Nope. I'm not the hottest on the camera. Oh. We're having to zoom in there now. <laughs> I'm not sure if that sit down and the coffee's done me much good to go. Yeah. Stick of the one I felt. Right, so I've got to get left of that bunker. Bye. Then you join us in the trap. Yeah, I'm either join you in it or just over it. I'll just be sociable. I'm trying to make it easy on the filming, you see. Where I go, you go. <laughs> so Matt did find the bunker. I think I got a little bit lucky, just got over it. I think I might have kicked off the top and run down. So no chance to obviously go for it in two unless you really surprise me. So <laughs> just a wedge out. Yeah, very good. Very good, nicely played, no danger. Down the fairway. So yeah, I'm, I'm expecting full full cinematography from you. Yeah? yeah. Like I've done it before. <laughs> <laughs> uh can't quite zap the top of the flag, but that bunk still has 250. So not entirely sure what's up around the green, but YouTube will dictate that you just have to hit it as much as you can, hard as you can. You'll get used to these YouTube rules as well. There's no laying up, no irons off tees, just driver everywhere. Is that the rules, is it? Sounds like my type of golf. Whack tree wood down there. That's a great shot. Well, I've much better of a line than that, can you? That looked pretty good, didn't it? I'm not sure about who would have got there, but you've inspired me, you see. <laughs> In the presence of a double assistance, great British <laughs> Australian assistance champion. You don't mind me continuing you calling you that, do you? Well, there's all you want. <laughs> So I have to lope out the bunker. Matt's still got 196 into this par five. It's five, 550 obviously in the middle of winter. But that's uh, another beast to start with. But after seeing Matt on the front nine we play, this is probably going to about six foot. What are you going in with? Yeah, I'm going to five, I five. It's a bit cold. It's not hard now, it's a bit softer. Yeah, a little bit softer now. It's melted away. Yeah, it looks very good. Very good. Oh, wasn't very good on the zoom there, sorry guys. Look pretty much at it. Touch right, yeah. Touch right. Right. A lot shorter than I thought it was going to be. 
Oh, you, you've ended up short as well. It's a hell of a halt, long goal this. I'm going to go into a sound wedge, just a little skippy, skippy shot. Not, you imagine the greens are going to be soft now, so. Well, that was rubbish. Touch left here. <laughs> touch right, can the I touch get the zoom left in? and a touch long. But I wanted an uphill put. It's course, it's course management. So Matt just ended up on the front of the green. So we've got an outside chance for a birdie. It doesn't look like there's much slope here, mate. Pretty flat. Touch right to left. Touch right to left. So it's just going to come down very, very slightly. Not masses, I don't think. Come on up. Ooh, maybe a bit short. We we're just talking there, we've not actually managed to have a real proper warm up yet. We played nine on the on the back back nine here, 27 holes. And that was on the proper proper winter conditions. And now we're moving into now more the, autumn conditions. We're on the proper greens now, aren't we? I think if I go one up against you, I think I'm gonna end it there, I think. Yeah, where's well, got, got this for the win, haven't you? Win of the hole. Oh, he's got it. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Easy as that, mate. One up. <laughs> Go on, have a. Let's have a put, let's have a roll. Let's just just so we can get that get Stoke, camera, yeah? Stoke part in the background as well, that hotel. It does look amazing. Ah, oh, that looks awesome. Never any doubt. Never any doubt, but just not quite, uh, just not quite good enough, mate. Not quite good enough. It's all right. Pick up my game. Still a young man, you'll learn. Second hole, 410 yards, were you saying, Matt? Yeah, He's a little bit round, a little bit round the corner. I'll hand you over. I'm going to be hanging on to this honour for as long as possible. I'm going to take about 16 practice swings just to, just to soak in the moment. <laughs> well, he made a, good, longer, made a good birdie to start. Yes. It's always not, that is, you can't have a better par, par 5 start, it's just like... Absolutely dream, love a par five star. Uh, looks, well bunkers left and that's free right, but I think it looks like there's a fair bit of room that side, as long as you don't hit the tree. So, having never played here before. Touch, yeah, touch left over the trap. Couldn't see it do. down, I think it's okay. I think it's over him, I think, yeah. Bit of a high toey one. But it's in the left hand, uh, left hand rough. It went over, over that bunker there, so it just depends how far it's got into the trees. But Matt zoomed in on that, so you would have seen that already. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get Matt to just, just let go and just zoom and just let his instincts take over. <laughs> Driver's off of that. It's gone where I was hoping to miss actually, that way. Oh. Talk about a PJ assistance for national championship bounce. No, I didn't see a bounce, where the bounce? It's kicked out into the fairway. Oh. Found match just in the right rough. This green is on a temporary winter green. For you guys watching in the States and Australia, you might not know what one of these is, but basically when the frost thing happens, when the ground is covered by the white magic dust, they put it on temporary green. So there'll be a couple of these on this nine. How far we got in? Uh, 117. 117. Long chip and 
Seven nine? Seven nine. Oh, tell you. I'm a natural born caddy. On the, on the firmer ground, we'll see if <laughs> I was going to say, it's a bit of a lottery about where this bounces. Yeah, let's have a look at that. Sorry, Bouncy, where's it finished? It was going straight. I think it's alright. Yeah, it looked good. Can't quite see. It's very, very bright out here, which is nice. Just got over to my ball in the rough, and Matt's ball looks, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty close. No pressure on my second shot, then, eh? You know, I knew, I knew I shouldn't have been so smug on the first. I knew it was going to come back to bite me. <laughs> 35 yards there. Uh, you'll seem to kick on a fair bit, so I'm going to try a similar, similar tactic on chip and run. Almost. Almost. Looks oh, alright for distance. A bit short. Yeah, it's a tiny bit. It's one fun thing about winter golf in the UK is these temporary holes. They are buckets, they do inspire a little bit of confidence. However, the roll <laughs> probably won't be as consistent as uh, as I'd want. Are you going for putter? Yeah, I'm gonna put mine, yeah. Because we both chipped, <laughs> chipped pretty well on the front side. Oh, right. I think this has got to go in. See how pure this rules. Oh, it's got a chance. Go. No. Oh. <laughs> Can't leave it short when you got a. You know, you've got to make it. Alright, alright. <laughs> I'll give you that one. Oh, that's very kind of you, thank you. <laughs> oh. So now, when the holes are that big, if you miss one, you think, right, oh, you see, what? It's, it's still quite easy to miss. Now, in most normal circumstances, actually, I'd probably give this, but I'm not quite ready to, how do you say it? Relinquish the honour just yet. Okay, into the bucket for a birdie. Was there any any doubt? Go, one back. back to all square. It's going to be a rather to and fro game, this one, I think. Third hole here, normally a par three up onto that green. The reason they were on the temperature, you can see how that frost is behind the temporary pin there. That's what's keeping us off some of these greens. There's so many trees here. It just surrounds uh, surrounds the greens and the sun can't quite get to it. So we've got one, two, seven. Yeah. One, two, seven. Uh, Mad did tell me that just wasn't a fantastic guess. So you're going in with year 50. 50, yeah. Oh, I'll tell you. This one looks a bit softer, so I know you're getting better than you do right now. Now with the size of these holes, it's hole in one time. Come on. I'm not on my channel yet. Apart from Dan Gavin's one, but there you go. Ah, oh, zipping back down the slope. It's okay. Chance for a beauty from there. Though. Oh, okay. Let me do. Since we've got some new toys to try today. Cobra, one length forged. So these are all set to a seven iron length. I don't really know how they're going to work, but we will see. Try and get inside yours. Oh. What club was that? <laughs> what club was that? Uh, that was the pitching wedge. It's funny because the pitching wedge before went 
like my own oh, shot. Oh, sure. The distance draw must be harder than things, eh? It's okay. I'll just go back to my ball. It's over here. Still going. Still see me from there. happy with that one is he? See where I'm back from a dead sheep still you hit the ball hit the hit it gonna get there eventually I'll give you that one that one's alright it's very kind of you thank you <laughs> Yeah. Slight issue there of <laughs> yeah, that was uh, not really focused. I should have just made sure I hit it past, so I had a put or a chip back up into the bucket, but I didn't, and I've opened up the door. So I've got a putt for a birdie, but two putts for the win, and to go to one up to start diminishing my dream of beating the British assistants, Australian assistants, national champ. Oh, 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 wait a minute. Let's, whoa, let's just, let's just hold on. Let's just, let me just rearrange my camera stance. I was gonna be a bit slower than that. Oh, the, the drama here at Stowe Park, it's palpable. You can, you, can have, you can have that one. <laughs> <laughs> so that's proper winter greens, isn't that it? That is proper, proper winter greens. Right, we're going to leave that hole behind us. So that's going to be the end of part one. Guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. Comment below. Guess what our final result will be. Go follow Matt on his social media. They're all linked in the description below. Very nice guy and very talented player. Winning every National Assistance Championship there is going. Where are you going to be off to next? Uh, I'm back off to Australia until March, and then I'm off to China. So, <laughs> so there. <laughs> so there, everyone. That's what I'm yeah, doing. Get out of this cold weather in the winter greens and hopefully not have any lip on. <laughs> that is it. <laughs> Someone say he's not quite been able to let that last hole go just yet. So, <laughs> we're going to see you in the next part on the fourth. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe, follow me as well. All into the description below. And we'll see you on the next part.